वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई टी स्मार्ट ट्रेनिंग इफ माई वीडियो इज इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज लाइक माई वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट मोर अप टू डेट so we are starting the evs volume hands on lab in linux this is the episode number 24 and the video number 24 um in my previous video you have seen that i guess uh, the same lab i will i did i did with the Lin uh, windows platform so in my in this video i am showing you how to add delete remove uh, ebs volume in linux so i just go to my portal so at first i have to go to the ec2 because i have to create a linux instance in ebs in uh, aws platform i just launch instances to create an instance i am just clicking the free trial only select any of you in any any linux instance over here i am selecting the ubuntu you can select any of the linux instances i am free trial eligible t2 micro i am configured the instance details here this options configure instance details i am just leaving the by default i am not creating or uh, changing anything uh, in this here now my topic and my next stage will be the same that is an adding storage so by default uh, the uh, e e e e aws ec2 will take a uh, uh, general purpose ssd gp2 volume uh, uh, here i this already described this what which options are uh uh responsible for which functions um in windows uh, uh demonstrations in my last video but uh, now i am just uh, telling the same thing in uh, in very briefly so volume type is the volume type means where the operating system is installed or the type of the volume so this volume is my root volume because uh, i am installing a operating system inside the root volume and device is dev is a path where is the hard disk is sda and the partition number is 1 so here is the device path where the device mounted path where uh, the uh, the root volume is installed this is my snapshot id i will describe you later in this snapshot so my default uh, uh, size is taken over here is uh, 8 gb and the volume type is i'm selecting the gp2 and iops i already uh, you have seen my last video what is iops i'm describing uh, very elaborately and throughput also delete on terminations option uh, i just told you very shortly delete on termination what is delete on termination <coughs> excuse me uh, delete on termination means uh, if i uh, remove a uh, uh, a virtual machines or the instance so side by side their attached hard disk is automatically delete if i del if i check this box uh when i create the instance okay so encryptions i am selecting uh leave it and i will uh, create a separate video on it so now i am creating another volume over here so see the volume type is showing ebs ebs volume and the hard disk is sdb i am i haven't any uh, instance snapshot so I, i leave it blank i am providing a size that is a 2 gb or 5 gb i provide here the 5 gb of storage space and i select the gp2 volume here you can see some other options is also available and if i select the root volume 
this GP2, GP3, IO1, IO2 and standard this kind of volumes are support to install operating system others are not support to install operating system here I say select an external volume where cold SDD and ST ones are uh, added here so this is the external volume so here I just deselect this delete on terminations means while I terminate the uh, virtual machine or the instance the first hard disk this one is automatically removed and the other hard disk will remain same it that was not delete and now I'm just go to tags configure security group create new security group and launch I am selecting choose an existing key pair I don't have the key pair actually I am selecting a create new key pair I just provide the key pair name is lab hyphen Linux download key pair key pair is downloaded and then just launch the instance So view instance my instance will create within a few minutes it's in pending state it is creating it take a few minutes to prepare so you can see that my uh, virtual machine is running so remember my uh, region is Mumbai and I am using the availability zone that is AP South 1 this is a very important because we do not add other uh, uh, region or other availability zones uh, uh, volumes into Mumbai so availability zone should be same so now I am just clicking on the, this virtual machine and just connect. So I want to connect with SSH. So here the connection option is little bit different. So I downloaded already the uh, uh, public key. So I, ha I just need the public IP of that. Uh, virtual machine that is this this one is the public IP of that instance I just go to the putty I just provide the IP address I just go to the SSH and select auth browse the authentication that is this one and just open yes username of the by default is username is ubuntu I'm trying once again I just paste and open UBUNTO sorry just paste and go to authentication SSH auth and just browse this key PPK key and open see I am logged in if you want to know about this procedure just scroll my uh, playlist payment li uh, sorry just scroll my uh, playlist uh, there you can get all these things 
so I am logged in uh, into the Ubuntu so uh, here I just go to the root account so go to the root account we need a command that is super user super user do that is sudo sudo su su means switch user so now you can see that I am logged in with the uh, uh, root user I just cd backslash to go to the main directory so here I just want to see you can see that uh, if I go to my instances or if I go to I just go to my volumes there I can see all of my volumes which is which are attached into my VM that are showing so this volume I don't need so I just delete volume so these two volumes are there so 8 GB this one is my root volume and this one external added that is I select HDD1 to get understand so these volumes are created okay so now uh, I just go to the uh, putty here I can s just run df space hyphen capital T small h so here you can see all of my mounted volume are showing all of my mounted volume are showing over here so this one is my root volume 7.7 GB used 1.3 GB for the operating system I all you know all about the Linux because the Linux is a very lightweight operating system that's why it's taking a very small part uh, amount of partitions that is 1.3 GB and available size is 6.5 GB and this is my root volume so this is my root volume so now I just go to another command that is lsblk here you can see all the drives over here you can see xvda this is my first drive physical drive and under xvda there was a partition is created that is xvda1 this is the partition and the size is 8 gb and you can see that xvdb this was this one is my second drive which is non root volume or the externally added volume that I created but that is not added into uh, we cannot use that partition or use that hard disk currently because we have to do some steps to configure all these things and format the hard disk then only we can use this hard disk so we have some steps just follow one by one steps so that's steps will help you to uh, create all of these partitions so I just type a command that is lsblk hyphen l l for list here you can see the sorry I given a wrong command that is fdisk fdisk hyphen l mean list here you can see this is my xvda1 and the partition is 8 gb and this 5 gb volume is not mounted or created initially so now i just i have a command that is uh, uh, used to create that hard disk so command is fdisk all the hard disks are stored under dev folder dev there was all hard disks showing no dev there was a xvdb xvdb so through this command we are configuring xvdb hard disk 
and create a partition over here and format that hard disk so the command is I want to create a new partition over here I just select N I want to create a primary partition there was a two option one is a primary partition another one is extended partition so here I we are creating the primary partition over here so I just press P and enter so partition number is one you can see we can create a four partition because this is the MBR's type of volume because MBR can only contain the four partition so I write the partition type is one first sector is default I just taken all I just taken default configurations my partition is created now I have to write these configurations in, into the configuration file so command is W done so now if I create if I type a command df hyphen capital T small h so see here that partition or that uh, drive is not populated yet because we have to format it and mount it so I just type lsblk command in lsblk command you can see this one my previous this is my root volume which is 8 GB and after that I am creating XVDB partitions and the partition size is 5 GB the partition is created now we have to create the file system just like Windows in Windows we are formatting like uh, FAT32 NTFS in Linux we are making a file system MKFS MKFS will make file system hyphen T command then the formatted with XFS format XFS is a command which is used to uh, which kind of partitions which format which type of formatting we are used to like uh, in Windows we are formatting like with NTFS and FAT32 in Linux we are uh, formatted like XFS, EXT3, EXT4 that's like just like that XFS and slash dev I just provide the uh, partition which we want to create XVDB1 XVDB space 1 space 1 means it will format the XVDB and one partition number 1 sorry I uh, xvdv1 is with without space it's done partition is created so now sorry for uh, partition is already formatted when the formation format type is xfs we can see over here that is uh, if I come type da space hyphen capital T small h we cannot see yet because we uh, we are not mounted yet but lsblk you can see my partition is showing now I just mount that partition into a folder so I have I have to create a folder that is mkdir to create a directory the directory name is data and I create this folder uh, under uh, slash mnt slash data done so ls slash mnt I can see the data is created data the f this folder is created now I just mount slash dev xvdf1 and mount it to mnt data
sorry x not xvdf1 that is xvdb1 db1 mounted now i just ls blk c slash mnt data is this folder is i mounted and go to df space hyphen capital t small h see my data is mounted under mnt folder and that size is 5 gb okay now i just create uh, a volume over here under volume folder another volume i want to create just go to the create volume general purpose ssd i of 100 and my region is this and i type a size that is uh, 6 gb now i create a volume close you can see this volume is created i just named hd dd2 volume name is hdd2 and it is available so now i add this volume into uh, my instance i just attach the volume select my instance name if you have a multiple instance you have to select which instance do you want to add that volume and i just attach it will take few seconds to add see here is showing in use last time it was showing in available and all the storage are the in the same availability zone we are waiting to adding the hard disk into the instance after uh, adding that instance we are running the same command or same steps to uh, configure all these things so see this is added so now i just go to the putty ls blk you can see xvdf is uh, added that is the partition size 6 cb and if i select df space hyphen capital t small h see here is not showing so i have do the same step I am doing the same step f disk space slash dev x v d f this one x v d f I just into the new volume partition one four sector and write to continue done lsblk you can see the partition is created for my second volume next i am creating a file system mkfs hyphen t xfs slash dev x v d f 1 partitions formatted now i create a folder mkdir slash mnt data 1 created we have to see ls command that created or not mnt see data one is created mount slash dev and the partition name is xvdf1 xvdf1 and mount it to mnt folder and under mnt data one mounted df hyphen th you can see this 6gb volume is also mounted now i just remove this volume 
just select the volume and just detach volume the 6 GB volume will automatically delete it just wait few moments I just refresh this page not deleted why because it is mounted over there so I just fold detach volume it's showing available state but it is not showing over here yes it is now available state now I just delete yes delete so the direct or uh, the volume is deleted now I extend the volume here you can see the previous volume was deleted DFTH it's showing over here just I have to refresh this wait few minutes to uh, automatically uh, remove over here so in the time being I am just increase my volume size this volume size 5 GB to 10 GB just select the volume and modify volume I just extend the volume size and size given the 10 and modify yes you can see the sizes increases but if I give in a command over here there is showing the 5 GB of storage over here so what to do just go to I just come type a command lsblk here also you can see the showing it's showing the 5 GB it's not increases yet so in I just go to the uh, link that is the AWS link so here given some steps to extend the volume so df-ht is uh, already done so this is for NVMe no matter I just type this command sudo group part just copy and paste sudo group part and my volume is xvdb1 that is under def folder xvdb this is my disk drive name and partition is 1 just space and partition was 1 I want to grow this partition is done lsblk you can see it is given 10 GB so now I have to do another command now I just uh, do this command to extend the volume just copy paste and uh, the my mount directory mount directory is data no such file directory so I have to give in a path slash mnt slash data done ls 
BLK it's a 10 GB and DF space hyphen TH it's 10 GB increases so in this way we can extend our volume now I just remove the volume from here so it's in modifying state it will take some time to modifying so it is now I just want to go to the actions options and first I have to detach the volume detach this is where we can detach it will take some time to detach and if I uh, once again if I want to attach just select on this on the disk and go to action and attach I will show you at first it is detached at first I am fired a command that is you mount slash mnt data data one. to unmount all this thing df hyphen capital T small h all drives are unmounted it is available now uh, I am just select and attach it will automatically attach I just select the uh, ESX a uh, sorry um, instance name and just attach is attached so after attach attach the volume uh, we just terminate my instance I just go to the instance option this is my instance I am just terminating the instance after terminating the instance you can see that HDD1 which I added that will remain same and the root volume is removed because we have select termination on delete option in root volume and I just deselect the termination on uh, termination on delete for the HDD1 I just terminate this uh, instance it will take some time you can say it is terminated now I just go to the volumes there you can see the 10 GB of disk is showing available this is not deleted when I delete the virtual machine because we select we deselect the termination deletation option now I just delete this volume as well because we don't need this volume right now delete so this is how you can add 
or extend your volume in Linux you can attach detach also volume in Linux so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel see you on my next video